Alright hey lads, welcome back to another episode of my Rangers career mode. And we do go in for Emery Moore, two year loan, hopefully to get him. And I know I've not loaded in about two weeks for this, but it should be alright. And now Zellalem, we go in and we sign Zellalem, decide to bring him back to the club. And we do go on to reject the other two, Michael Jordan, Kololo and Kwesi Apaya. So bring in Zellalem, hoping for Emery Moore. And as you can see, but Dortmund accept as I expected them to. And we have Emery Moore for two years. Whether it will be good or not, it's only a loan. We have a transfer offer for Joey Barton. Thank God, 2.3 million for Middlesbrough. I will accept that any day. I just want rid of him. But EA glitches out. Or not even glitches out. It's just, you know, a mucked up game. In four hours left, and Middlesbrough don't come back to get him. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. So, I've still got Joey Barton for the rest of the se season. He's not going to get played. So, he's just going to be sitting on the bench. As we go into this game against Aberdeen with a full squad, good squad we're going with. As last time we came here we got beat 3-0. But Tavernier now on the ball, looking for something. He tries to play it through but O'Haran gets it. Gives it to Halliday. Halliday pushes off the defender. Keeper saves it. The Aberdeen trying to clear it. He gives it back to Halliday. Halliday tries to pack out Patterson. Patterson hits it, gets blocked and Aberdeen end up clearing it eventually. Now Patterson on the ball off a throw and gets by two challenges. Then he passes it inside to Halliday. Halliday plays it through to Jordan Ibe. Jordan Ibe gets it, hits it with his left. Aberdeen fail to clear. Comes to Jordan Ibe. He gets held up by Koulibaly but comes to Halliday and he smashes that into the roof of the net and puts 1-0 up. And yeah, that was one of the scrappiest goals at least I'll ever see on FIFA 17 because the way it worked, Jordan Ibe shot, they blocked it, they failed to clear, Jordan Ibe then got blocked by Koulibaly and Halliday just smashes it in. So yeah, it was a weird goal but it's a goal nevertheless, so Tavernier plays it through to Jordan Ibe, Jordan Ibe on the left wing, doing step overs, cuts inside of his man, goes into the box, cuts it back to Tav, Tav hits the first time and that is us 2-0 up against Aberdeen, what we thought would be a tough game and Aberdeen has literally offered nothing, they've not made any good t attacks, we've been dominating them in the first half and hoping to keep that in the second half, that was literally the last kick of the ball, as Jordan Ive cut inside and cut it back to Tav, and it was a decent finish by Tav, now into the second half, Emery Moore came on, gives it to Halliday, Halliday plays it back to Emery Moore, Emery Moore hits it, but it's a good save by the keeper, the Aberdeen keeper, now Halliday with the swing in from the corner, comes to Emery Moore but he's too small to win the header, comes to Rossiter outside the box, he rides a challenge, he goes through it, he gives it to Tav, Tav hits it, but it's a decent Decent save by the keeper once again, and we should probably be three or four nil up. But now Aberdeen trying to make an attack. Hayes has it, but it gets blocked by Patterson, and that will be full time. And a two nil away victory to Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup round of 16. I'll take that. That's all us already fulfilled one of our domestic objectives to reach the quarterfinals. And Koulibaly gets injured for four weeks. It's just unlucky. But Barry Mackay is back, so that's good news. And we go on with pretty much the same team except for Koulibaly. We put Emery Moore in the starting 11, I do think. So, hoping to beat Motherwell away from home again. All these games in the episode are away from home. Rossiter gives it to Emery Moore. He plays it through to Patterson. Patterson tries to cut it back to Rossiter. Comes back to Patterson and he hits that one wide. So, should have scored there. But Tab now on the ball. Gives it through to O'Halloran. O'Halloran's got pace to run. He runs. He goes by... He takes on McManus, he hits it with his left and it hits off their player and goes in as an own goal and that's just a shocking goal for Motherwell to concede. Like, O'Halloran just got by two of their players so easily and then the defender, like what is he even doing? He, he, trying to at least clear it instead of hitting it off you. But Emery Moore now on the ball and that should have been a free kick, it was a free kick and he only gets a yellow for it. It should definitely have been a red, he was one on one Emery Moore and he was nowhere near the ball and Tav over the free kick, he hits it and that goes in, top bins and that's two episodes in a row I think that we've scored a free kick, Josh Windass in the last one, I think it was the last one anyway, so good free kick there by Tav and we are 2-0 up away from Motherwell in the 20 minutes, so we're dominating once again, Motherwell in the first 20 minutes not really done much but now O'Halloran back in the attack gives it to Halliday Halliday with a bit of time to run in he's got support up with O'Halloran he plays it into Emery Moore Emery Moore cuts inside on his left foot he hits it but it's a decent save by the keeper probably should have been better by Emery Moore but 45th minute now and Motherwell still not an attack and half time it is Jordan Ives swings in a corner that we got 
Halliday goes up there, but it comes back to Patterson. He gives it back to Jordan Abe. Jordan Abe runs into the box instead of crossing it, cuts inside, goes inside in his left, hits it, and he finesses that one into the top corner. Brilliant goal by Jordan Abe, and that puts us 3 0 up in the 54th minute, away from Motherwell. And these results just keep on getting better and better. We're playing really well at the moment, and Jordan Abe has actually been stepping up quite a bit like these last few games. So he called that one into the top bins. Now Andy Halliday on the ball gives it to Rosser. Rosser gives it to Zelalum. He hits it on the turn. And that goes in, makes it 4-0. Zalalem on his debut return does what he failed to do in his recent loan spell at Rangers, I do believe. I don't think he ever scored for us, like in real life actually. So that's his first goal, well I suppose. This is his first goal for Rangers. Patterson now gives it through to Emery Moore but gets intercepted. But that doesn't matter because it finishes 4-0 and that is the second one of the episodes, really good win there, good two wins of the episodes and Koulibaly already back, obviously it wasn't a four week injury but he's back, not ready to go on the team yet but we go in away to Partick, another away game as I said last game, all games in this episode are away but this is in the league again so hoping to beat Partick and the Partick are a decent team but we should be looking to beat them. Mohalloran gives it to Moore, but it's a poor pass. Comes to their player, he gives it to Dudley. Dudley gives it into Eriskin, and it's a good save by Fodringham. Now, Tav on the ball, runs into the box, gives it back to O'Halloran. O'Halloran gives it back to Roster. Roster goes outside the box, gives it to Emery Moore. Emery Moore takes it on the turn, goes a bit wide, hits it, but he managed to squeeze that in front post, and that is Emery Moore with his first goal for the club in it was a really weird goal again, like I never expected him to score, I was trying to aim for a far corner, it was obviously too tight an angle and he managed to squeeze it in to the front post which I didn't actually think was possible from that angle, probably poor goalkeeping, but now O'Halloran on the ball, 57th minute, gives it through to Halliday, Halliday takes a touch and smashes that one into the top corner. Good goal by Halliday and he gets held up by the keeper with his celebration and it just lags out and his leg goes away up as their keeper stands up. But it's just celebrations, you know, they're kind of glitched out. They've no, never been right. But good goal there by Halliday and good build up play as well. Now, Partick trying to create something. Dudley on the ball, lots of space opened up and he just goes straight through like a hot knife on butter and scores. Makes it 2-1 and they're straight back in the game after... They had more chances than Motherwell and Aberdeen put together, but still not many chances. But now Dudley back in the ball, he gives it in the middle to Banuang. I'm trying to just read these names off of the small screen. But now they hit the post, their player gets it again, he hits it and it's a brilliant save by Fordringham. So two at times Partick could have scored there. But now Fordringham punts up to Koulibaly as he came on. But Barry Mackay got it, gives it through to Koulibaly, Koulibaly takes a touch, drives in a bit, hits it and he smashes that off the bar, could have made it 3-1 but now Partick are still in the game but 90th minute now, Barry Mackay gives it to Koulibaly, Koulibaly takes a touch, gives it over the top to Mackay, Mackay's got loads of space to run, he's got pace and some space to run, there's not really many options so he decides to hit it but the keeper makes a pretty decent save and the game is still not over, Partick on the ball, Eriskin hits it but it goes wide and that is full time so finally we've won the game against Partick and we got 3 out of 3 wins for this episode so good win against Aberdeen and next episode we've actually got Aberdeen at home in the league and we've also got Kilmarnock in the cup and Celtic so hope you guys did enjoy and if you did please leave a like and I'll see you all in the next video bye